This red brick house in a Copenhagen suburb dates from 1915. With her update nearly a century later, interior designer Lena Helsa Hornemann transformed the former clinic into an inviting family home. Hello, welcome. Welcome to our house in Copenhagen. I would like to show you how we live. Welcome inside. Follow me. Come dogs. Deploying a nuanced palette of grey with defining accents of black, the designer created a space that is at once serene and dramatic. For Lena Helsa Hornemann, colour is more than a decorative element, it's emotional. Colours is very important that uh, it takes you like an inner journey. It reminds you of places and it gives you uh, imaginations of stories where you want to be or what you would like to. And that's why there's no white colors here in this house. Only the ceilings is white. Despite the use of steely gray hues, the rooms exude warmth. Light is key in creating that effect. Large new windows were put in to let daylight stream deep into the house. The fireplace is the heart of the living area. And lamps, both designer and flea market finds, create a sense of coziness on long winter evenings. I was trying to f achieve the feeling in the house of, I mean, this is a place you want to be. You only have the second, you only have this moment, and if you have to feel what is the best, where the best place to be, I wanted to create that, not for myself, by myself, because I don't live here by myself. I wanted to create that for my family. Lena Helsa Hornemann lives here with her husband, two children and three dogs. The kitchen is where the entire family comes together. The designer has built a career on designing kitchen islands for clients. She wanted her own kitchen to be as beautiful as it is functional. It's a kitchen, but it's not just a kitchen. It's more than that. Because the granite here, the tabletop, is brushed, so it has like a softness. It's not polished and shiny, it's more uh, soft in the surface. And it goes really well together with the cabinets which you have made of wood. And it goes from one drawer to the other drawer. And when you push the drawer, it comes out and it's electronic. So it's practical, it's beautiful, but it's also functional. The house boasts 400 square meters on three floors. But despite its rambling size, it maintains an intimate air. Space is important to the Hornemans, and they use every inch of it. Your house is your castle, and you, you uh, surround, your things, surround yourself with things that you enjoy, and you make it cozy. You know the Danish word for hygge, which is uh, coziness. So I think that's a, a big part of the Danish culture. We still bring a lot of friends and families back to our homes. So we have to open up our homes, and maybe that's why we really consider how we live with, with beautiful things. And not only beautiful things like shapes, but also good quality. Danish people like good quality, and that makes it a little bit more fun. This isn't the first house that Lena Helsa Hornemann has bought and renovated for her family. But given how comfortably they've settled in, it may be a while before they move out of this gloriously grey home.